Well, welcome to Gardener's Cottage here in Blakeney on the North Norfolk coast. We're going to give you a cottage tour and update now. We're right in the middle of the UK's second lockdown period, so the cottage is not in use. There's no guests allowed to travel and stay overnight in the United Kingdom, but it does give us an opportunity to come over and we're allowed to visit just for a day, not to stay, but to do some routine maintenance. And there's a few jobs that we're going to take the opportunity of the lockdown to actually work on here in the cottage also gives us the opportunity to show you bits of the cottage that you may not have seen before and also to show you the cottage in its lockdown state if you like it's been mothballed slightly so it's not made up and ready for guests so we're going to walk you around the cottage and give you a guided tour starting here in the lounge or snug got a beautiful cold November morning here in Blakeney with the sun just streaming through these large picture windows it gives you some idea of the peace and quiet that we have here in this part wall garden tucked right in the centre of Blakeney. Let's show you a little more of the cottage coming back into the main entrance area now. You're on the front door aspect of the cottage looking west and this is the corridor that goes down to the main rooms and kitchen at the back of the house. And there's the stairs going up to the first floor which we'll show in a minute. Let's go and have a look at the kitchen area which you'd have seen before. Lovely bright room this, even in winter, here with the large French windows on the dual aspect, running all the way down the garden aspect. Just let the light flood into this room. Courtyard area to my right, I'm just gonna show you now. Got quite a bit of work to do in there now. Put a link up to the courtyard tour we did in the height of summer when this was just so lush and the shade was so welcome. A lot of the planting's been cut back now for winter. We're going to do some work later on this fig tree which is starting to get a little outsized for the space. We want to maintain the canopy but take a lot of the wood and height out of this because otherwise it's going to get away from us but we still want to retain some of that lush feel that those massive fig leaves give us in the height of summer. This room really is the principal entertaining space and the big draw for gardeners for mixed generational parties that traditionally have used this house for family get-togethers, gatherings, anniversaries and meetups. Gives you that beautiful aspect onto the garden on the far side, south facing and it is a complete sun trap. But even in winter, on good days, it's an opportunity to throw those French windows open and enjoy the garden space as well as the beautiful interior spaces that you've got here. That large entertaining table is perhaps one of the key features that allows you to entertain quite comfortably in this room for large parties of guests with the island behind giving you the work surface and serving areas for lunches and dinners. It really is a fantastic opportunity to really kick back and enjoy Blakeney and all the lovely spaces that this house offers you to use. This is a view from the French window looking out into the garden in November. We've still got roses flowering, which is quite a feature of this wall garden. Even in the worst of winters, we do quite often manage to maintain a few tight rose buds and a little bit of colour. The barbecue's been boiled over onto this smaller patio area. And it makes sense really over the winter months with the outside lighting that we've got on the back of this house does mean that you can still, even in the depths of winter, if you get the opportunity in some decent weather, have a barbecue should you choose to do so. And if the weather doesn't permit that, then you have got this fantastic four oven electric night storage arga to play with during your stay if you've not used an arga before then we do encourage you to watch the demonstration videos and there are some guides in terms of how to get the best use out of cooking with an arga because there is a little bit of an art to it but do enjoy that it's got a new kettle that we've put in over the last couple of weeks one of the new features going in, we are constantly updating and maintaining the utilities and white goods. The fridge, which was replaced over the summer months, still working nicely there. A large fridge freezer unit for guests. 
We've also in this room, as you remember, got the wine fridge separately for all drinks, which takes some of the pressure off your fridge if you're staying with a large party and having food deliveries. This island's one of the key features with the dishwasher built in and the double butler sink and mixer taps. You've also got a whole range of storage on either side of this where all your kitchen utensils, pots and pans, and we've tried to kit out gardeners with absolutely everything that you may wish or want to find in a rental property that will allow you to both cook, bake and entertain with ease and the comfort that you would normally expect at home. And we've done that with a whole range of little seating areas and the vintage fittings that we encourage you to use. The old English blue and white ironstone, serving platters, serving bowls and dishes, lidded terrines, side plates, cups and saucers, everything really to entertain and have a beautiful spread is all hidden away in these crevices and compartments and please do feel free to use all of this vintage and antique china and cutlery that's kitted in the drawers during your stay here at Gardeners. One of the key features of this cottage is its two ground floor bedrooms which are ideal for people not too keen on stairs. They're in lockdown mode at the moment with everything unfitted out. So the bedding's not in place at the moment, but that's given us an ideal opportunity to just check over all the soft furnishings in these rooms and replace anything that needs a spruce and a freshen up. This is the back bedroom, which overlooks the courtyard with these French doors that can be opened in summer, giving you access directly onto this small courtyard garden at the back of the house. Sun in the evenings comes over that wall and streams into this room. It's got one side window that looks over the driveway at the side of the house. And we've provided a small seating area in here, which allows you, should you choose to, come and have a get away from the main party. There's a TV kitted into that chest on the side, which I think, if my memory serves me right, also can be plugged into a DVD player. I don't know whether there's one in situ at the moment. No, it's been moved to the other TV in the main lounge. But there is a 32 inch widescreen telly in that cupboard. So if you're wanting to get away for half an hour and watch your favorite TV program, then this is a ideal area to do so. It's a king size, low level painted pine bed in this room with twin bedsides and brass lamps. There's a small kitted wardrobe here for a short stay and drawers and cupboards in either side of the bedsides and in the base of the TV unit. And going off the back of this bedroom, is the utility room. Not what you would expect, but this does give you access to the laundry and the electrical and a further sink. And there's access off this again into that back courtyard. Most people who bring their dogs with them on holiday tend to put their crates into to this room and sleep the dogs in here because if they do end up getting particularly muddy, then you can bring them around the back of the house and in through that access without traipsing them through the main body of the house. So that's the first of the downstairs bedrooms. Let's just take you around here and show you the main principal downstairs room, which has this gorgeous feature, wooden four poster bed with canopy rails, beautiful carved headboard. Again, not made up or dressed at the moment, stripped back for the lockdown period. Twin bedsides in this room. We've got mirrors on all aspects of the walls and a beautiful kitted mahogany chest of drawers and hanging wardrobe 
at the end with a low plinth table with a further TV unit and a seating area in this room. This overlooks the front of the house. Driveway runs along the front of gardeners, which can be used for additional parking. This is east facing and gets the beautiful morning sunshine. It's also an ensuite bathroom. If I just take you through here, we've got low level toilet, wash basin, large walk in shower, and a roll top bath with a hand shower attachment on it. Walls in here are partly tongue and groove boarded and the artwork in here reflects where you are with some beautiful period artwork on the walls. Again, south facing, we've got the courtesy blinds that drop down in here for privacy with the dual aspect looking out over towards the birches which is the house to the north of Gardeners. And there is the driveway coming into the main entrance with the beautiful crab apple just to the side. One remaining room on the lower floor of Gardeners is the additional bathroom and toilet, which acts as the toilet for the main part of the house, but also effectively forms almost a double facility of an ensuite for that first bedroom that we showed you because this is accessed directly off here. Fitted again with blinds over the rear courtyard, heated tower rails, this underfloor heating in here and again some little features just to remind you that you're on the coast here in Norfolk. So we've made our way back to the front door and in front of us now is the staircase going up to the first floor and the remaining three bedrooms that we've got up here and two bathrooms. So let's take you up here now and give you a guided tour of the upstairs of Gardner's Cottage here in Blakeney. The top of the landing just to my right there's a small seating area with a radiator overlooking the courtyard down below and beyond that we have views of the high street at Blakeney which runs down to the quay. First of the bedrooms off to the right is the main family room, which is the principal bedroom upstairs. Okay, the window overlooking the birches to the north of the property. And this room is fitted with a rather nice upholstered French style bed. Again, this is a king size with matching bedsides. We've also got a single bed just tucked in under the eaves on the entrance where I've come through, which allows the flexibility to use this as a family room if you have young children who may be nervous coming and staying in an unusual property for the first night and wanting to reassurance the sleeping in with mum and dad. Just going to pop the lights on now into the ensuite bathroom and shower for this bedroom suite. Again, another roll top bath. Hand basin with mirror, low level toilet, and again a full size walk in rain shower. And just to the side of that, heated towel rails. Again, there's underfloor heating for comfort into this uh, ensuite, and a seating area for storing your clothes. Now, I made my way just out of that bathroom. We're looking back along the corridor with the stairs just going down to our left here. The room in front of us is the smallest of the five bedrooms here at Gardner's. has a single bed tucked under the eaves. And just to my left, a double painted wooden bed. And you can just see the beautiful light that we've got streaming in here. This is a south facing bedroom overlooking the garden. I think the contrast is going to be extremely high if I try and show you where we are because of the sunlight but again just gives you an impression of the peace and quiet here at the cottage absolutely beautiful light here this morning going back out looking along the corridor to the main bedroom and the last of the bedrooms is down this short corridor to my left 
again in lockdown mode with no bedding fitted at the moment. This incredible king size painted oak style high bed. This is an incredible piece of furniture. That mattress is approximately three and a half feet off the floor. A real whopper of a bed. Matching bedsides again with lamps. And in this room, we've got two single beds in addition to the large king size, allowing this to be used as a family room, sleeping up to four guests. Again, we've got dual aspect here. To my left is the window looking down onto the courtyard below us. And to our left, the guest and residence car park on the high street here at Blakeney.